video as you can see from the dead we're going to be reacting to 442 newest video so let's go to Costa live on oh there's no fun so we can't do these ones so let's go back i forgot to know all of these hmm. should we watch Let's watch this. Chelsea have agreed a forty million pound fee with AS Monaco for back at your ball day. Oh yeah, that would be happy. Let me just say he he already happened and they made a mistake. He actually dyed his hair blonde, not white. Beatles, where I'm guaranteed Champions League football. Wait, wait, is that a hundred and twenty percent on that guy's phone? Wait, we don't I mean, wait, wait. guarantee three hundred K. Emmerich Aubameyang has been offered to Chelsea for 60 million. 60 million? Hmm. Hmm. But Conte. Oh. Yeah, the Conte. He, I like what he's trying to do. He's trying to take the maker of Diego Costa. Because he's really want to get another striker. Diego Costa trying to take the maker of him. Going on Brazil for a holiday. But. Be 70 million. Just for the bats. <laughs> and again. With reports suggesting Dortmund will replace one of the fastest players in the world with Chivru. Hmm. Giroud is a great quality player, he's a world class player. The only thing was wrong is that his speed. But he's the he is on platinum level of headering. And scorpion kicking. I think it's a good choice, but if we get him, you have, you have to um, you have to train him to be faster. Uh, uh, and I can't believe really faster actually didn't do that. I've even been working on my flips. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, to be clear, viewers, uh, this is full speed, uh, not a slow mo. Uh, Oh, get off! Uh, West Ham will return to Stoke with a £20 million pound bid for Arnie Anortovic. The third offering in a trilogy of bids. And as everyone who watched Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines know... Let me just say, Anortovic doesn't have that... Mm. No, I can't say anything. This isn't going to end well. Check back here tomorrow for more 442 transfer news and download the World Football app to keep up with the latest transfer stories. We are reacting to the football what video which should we react next? Mm. Oh yeah. This one is funny. So let's add this in. Miss him with his Gucci forehead. Why like this? Look at the colors of every coat. Now let me just say, 
He's wearing the colors of every cause. The African ways. He must go this if he doesn't. I suggest I suggest you wouldn't play football anymore. You can't you can't score a penalty Oh my god. Let me just say this. Wait, I can't actually say nothing because Bravo is a higher rating than Nani. So yeah. And also Nani's surname is 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 the same name as grandmother in French, you know. Nani. Yeah. But they should. Was that? But there was the manager fault because they he never let because Messi Ronaldo never had the chance. Yeah, let's see. We have to draw my life. Welcome to Draw My Life with me, Lionel Messi Gishon. And as Ron Burgundy once said, I'm kind of a big deal. Oh <laughs> nice play on words. Go away, Cristiano. I was born on June the 24th, 1987. My dad was... I thought he was born... No, that's... He's born on June the 2nd. I swear. No, let's, let's Google it. Let's go. Let's Google this. Let's Google this, let's Google this, and let's Google this, because I don't believe. When is Messi When is it Messi birthday? Uh, let's see. When he scores his first senior goal at the club, no. You're going to celebrate your fourth. I thought it was the second. Showing results. See, it's the second. It's the second. No, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just carry on with the video. Because this is not me. It, it's the second mate. Was a steel worker and my mum was a part-time cleaner. The steel worker. Oh, go away, Cristiano! I was born in Rosario, Argentina. I joined Newell's Old Boys at the age of six. I did okay. I <laughs> Let me just say. <laughs> What are those kneecaps? <laughs> um, and to say this, oh my! God. What what kind of football name is called? Newell's Newell's Old Boys. And why are you saying that? Like you're proud? I guess scoring nearly five hundred goals. We were nicknamed the Machine of '87. <laughs> At 11, I was diagnosed with GHD. Haha, <laughs> not GHDs. I meant growth hormone efficiency, really. Hey, I didn't give you permission to use my image. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. I took hormone supplements. Like Cristiano, my dad. Ooh, that must hurt. Just to make yourself taller, bro. I didn't have a problem. Outside help to grow his son. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. But hormones were expensive. Though luckily Barcelona watched a video of me juggling oranges and tennis balls, and I was invited for a try. They offered me a contract there and then on a napkin, as there was no paper. Let me type this up. I was a Barca player. I made my Barca debut on a. The 16th, 2004, against Espanyol. I was the second youngest Barca debutant ever. Seven and a half months later, I scored my first goal. By the way, my goal celebration is a tribute to my grandma, who took me to training and matches as a child. In 2004, I turned down the chance to play for the Spain under 20s. Oh. Just think, I maybe could have been as bad, I, I mean, as good as Torres. 
My debut for Argentina could have gone better. I was sent off 44 seconds after coming on as a substitute. After that bad start, I became the youngest Argentinian to play and score in a World Cup. I was nicknamed Messi Donna and even scored a goal fitting of Maradona against Espanyol in 2007. And then I became kind of a big deal, winning all kinds of trophies. Seven La Ligas, four Champions League, three Copa del Reyes, three UEFA Super Cups, three FIFA World Club Cups, and five Golden Leagues. Did you hear me, Cristiano? I said five. And one day you'll hopefully win something with your country too. Says you. What next? Who knows? But it's going to include lots of medals and a bucket. Wait, oh my god, uh, this is the audio video. Some old video. Guys, I hope you had a good time and see you.